How's it going? My name is Zeke and this is my Zoom TKL Bluetooth guide. For those like myself looking for a guide on how to use the Bluetooth features on the Zoom TKL by Mellatrix, you have found it. I'm going to walk you through all the known functions of the Zoom TKL's Bluetooth and even the RGB settings as well. So follow along and make sure to subscribe if I help you out in any kind of way. Alright, let's get it started. First and foremost, you're going to want to make sure your keyboard is charged via the included USB-C. Mine actually came pre-charged, but in case your battery wasn't, you're going to want to do that. Next, initiate the Bluetooth mode. Make sure your computer or laptop is discoverable and then press these keys, the function and the Z key. Hold that for three seconds and wait for it to start flashing rapidly. You'll now be in pairing mode. From there, your computer or device should see it pop up as Zoom 87 wireless. It's pretty much as simple as that. But if you have multiple devices, the Zoom TKL does allow you to connect up to up to three separate devices at once. In order to pair with the other two, instead of Z, you'll hold function and X and it'll start turning blue. And then for the third device, instead of X, you'll want to hold function and the C key, and then the LED will start to flash yellow instead. Also, there's a couple features that you'll probably want to know. These are all combinations that you're going to press with your function key. So if you press function, space, and backspace, you can restore your keyboard to the factory settings. But you'll want to do this right before you plug in the USB into the computer. If you ever find yourself needing to just reset your keyboard, you're going to want to hold function, the right shift, and the R button. So from there, you'll see your LED start to flash and it'll let you know when it goes off. Now, if you ever need to switch back and forth from the Bluetooth mode into the wired mode, you're going to want to press the function key and the space key. That'll initiate the wired mode as long as your USB-C is plugged in. The next one is going to be function and tab. This will put your keyboard to sleep while you're in the wireless mode. And then once you want to wake it back up, you'll just do the same. You'll just press function and then hold tab until your LED starts to flash again. From there, if you want to reconnect this to your device, of course, you'll just press function plus Z for the first device, X for the second one, and so on. And then there's some other shortcut key functions that you may want to try. So I'll fill you in on those right now. But yeah, the function row along the top will let you do a different function as long as you press the function key and one of the function row numbers. Damn, that's a lot of, that's a lot of different functions right there. All right, let me rephrase this. So if you press function and F1 all the way up to F12, there's going to be a different function that initiates while using the Zoom TKL. All right, so for F1, function in F1 will turn your brightness down on your screen. Function in F2 will bring it back up. When it comes to function in F3, it'll bring you to the mission control in your computer. Function in F4 will open up the launch pad or the home folder of your computer. Function in F5 is just to refresh your screen. Skipping over F6 because it doesn't really do anything major. Uh, F7, if you're listening to music, you can go previous track. If you use function in F8, you can play a song or when using YouTube, it's kind of like another space bar so you can pause and play at your will. When it comes to F9, back around to the music player. These are all music functions, as you can see. This will skip forward to the next track or fast forward in a way. F10 will be the mute key. And then if you ever want to turn your volume up, you'll use the F11 and then F12 to turn it back down. Simple, right? Now let's talk about this RGB function, man. Everybody wants to know what's how to use the RGB function. Because you know how it is on each keyboard, a lot of times there are different keys in different spots. And you kind of just got to fiddle with them until it starts to change. But with the Zoom TKL, this is how you control the NV light. So with these functions, you're, you're going to be using the function key and all these arrow keys. So if you press up, it'll increase the brightness of the keyboard light. If you press down, it'll reduce the brightness of your LEDs. Pressing function in the right arrow will speed up the lighting effect depending on what mode you're in. And then, and then it'll do the opposite if you use function and the left arrow, so slowing it down. If you ever wanna toggle your RGB on or off, you'll just use this key here, which is kinda of like the backslash. Then when you're in a single color mode for your RGB, if you wanna change the hue or the color, you'll press function in P, and then to go back the other way, you'll press function and semicolon. If you ever want to adjust the saturation to make it more vibrant, you're going to use function and left bracket. And if you want to dim it back down to a little bit less saturated color, we'll use function and apostrophe. And then for the last one, if you just want to change your RGB mode or lighting effect, you just press function and this right bracket key here. And that's it. If there's anything you're not sure of, make sure to plug your keyboard in and open it in VIA or QMK. That's the easiest way to see all your keystrokes. But you're going to need to manually upload your JSON file for the Zoom TKL in the Design tab in order to unlock all of its capabilities and change anything you want to personally customize. If you need that, the link for it will be in the description. And that's the vid. 
please subscribe for more videos and leave a comment if it helped you out in any way. I'll catch you guys on the next one.